can see again at Gun Hill, St. George, doing a video of the lion statue at Gun Hill. Gun Hill, St. George. Now heading towards the lion at Gun Hill. All at Gun Hill. So, walking the path of leading you towards the lion. Back to the road side. This is the path that will be leading you towards the lion statue here. So this way to lead you back to the back of the signal station. This is supposed to be a one way. So only vehicles are supposed to be coming down in this direction. It shouldn't be going up in this direction, but some people do, but it is it's so now what it is. Very lonely area. Get a clear view into the St. George Valley, but the views from here might not be as clear as those ones from the signal station right here. You get a clear view into the St. George Valley. You see the sugar factory, but const for Buckley sugar factory, which closed down in 2002. I see the constant plantation. So this is all down Gun Hill at the bottom of the road. And this is the lion statue here, which was carved by Captain Henry Wilkinson in 1868. Henry Wilkinson was an officer at Gun Hill Signal Station. The statue depicts the lion resting its paw on a big red room ball, supposing to be a globe, symbolizing the ending of British colonialism. This lion statue here is an iconic landmark. But I haven't seen anybody here, but lately people come visit both tourists and locals. People even have a picnic, people spend quality time with family, but this lion. Oh, here I can hear. This is inscripted in Latin, and these last names are in English. You can see the signal station in the back, which was built in 1818 as a fortress to signal when the enemies were coming in. The Gun Hill Signal Station gives awesome views of six out of the eleven parishes in Barbados. So about a bit about this lion on the ball. This lion is supposed to represent Britain and the ball is supposed to represent the globe, the whole which means it's supposed to be the world, the whole globe meaning the world. Saying that stating that Britain rules wants to rule the world. They want to rule parts of Africa, the Caribbean, even the United States of America at one point, and Canada. So 
that is what the globe means. So the Britain is the lion, the white lion, and the red ball is the world, the globe. So I don't know if you understand what I mean. But the lion is England, representation of England, and the ball is the globe. Still that Britain had its oh, oh, hole over the whole world. Back in the early 90s, the Rastafarian community got together and painted this lion in the white. I mean, the Rastafarian colors, which is red, gold, and green. White, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green, whatever. And then the next morning, all efforts were put in place, and the lion was repainted back in this white color. You can see all into the St. George Valley from here. And all into the agricultural land. So, this is the southern part of St. George. You can see the St. George Valley of the agricultural land and a bit of Christ Church, which is to the south of the island. You can see all into the south coast. You can see into Boystown as well, which is the country's capital. You can see all into the Carlow Bay area, which is on the southwest coast of Barbados. Carlow Bay is where the Hilton Hotel is, which is just on south of Boystown. All the land out of Gun Hill, so large. So thank you guys for watching. And again, the Gun Hill Signal Station is the highest point in this St. George Parish. Just behind here, 700 feet above sea level. Thank you guys for watching now, and have a blessed evening.